gun. You got a problem with me having this? Just put work in, Bailey. You know where you at, fool? Oh, I'm cool, no more. <laughs> CJ, fool! <laughs> oh, thanks, G. All right, bitch, let's roll. I don't give a fuck, fools! See, You ever seen no gangster? Boo, yeah, bitch! Family reunion, homie! <laughs> Why? Give me some bud, relative. You should've stayed at home. You ain't gonna catch me, bitch! Enough with that bullshit, Popo! I'm a piece, man. Step aside. No, G, I'm sorry for sure, but I can't. waiting for Let's have us some coffee. I watch my five uncles. God, I'd love to live in that house. Remember, a hard command, but a divorce lasts forever.
Can't you chase a dude who want to be chased? Good. All right, let's have us some coffee. Oh, shit. Oh! No problem. Bitch. What y'all waiting for? Mr. Jake, do I look like one of your homies? Come on, people gonna think you hot on me. Oh, god damn. You tricks. Catch me, bitch! Like your cologne, bro. Hello? Come on, stay close! Raise a more fight. Do I look... Uh, really frightened. I'm really scared. office said everything is okay. In Vinewood news, rapper Mad Dog was celebrating the launch of his new clothing line. Richard I caught know, up homie. with him. The thing about say. Mad Dog is, think about becoming a superstar. I mean, you know, I've done everything I could do in the rap game. I 
one shit hands down. Nobody can handle me, you know? Lifetime champ, no shit. Can I say shit? Oh, hey man, it's cool. That's cool. Okay, no shit. I got clothes. I got labels coming out, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing drinks. I got Whoa. shoes, tires, rims. Thank you, you know, next stage being a full-on superstar, you know? Get to wear a tight suit. A lot of tail, you think you know what I do in real life. You gotta get me a drink though, right now, because I'm thirsty, you know. What a troubled man. Sounds like he should lay off the sauce. Also, today, a Tourette's theater group banned from the park. I ain't no banger. And finally, in foreign news, a suspected U.S. agent was caught in Panama selling weaponry to right-wing gorillas, causing a major incident. That. But we plan mostly to gloss over the implications and hope you enjoy some sporting activity tonight. The State Department is advising against foreign travel. This was Leanne Forge, WCTR News. Let's be careful out there. I'm innocent, po -po. Relationships can seem like an eternity. You asshole! Yeah, what were you man. doing with my sister in that hot tub? Relieve the pressure. Bye. Chill that bitch out with ice. A diamond lasts forever, but your relationship might not. A diamond is love, rock hard, and frozen in time. Luckily, most women are shallow and materialistic. Oh, a diamond! So you do love me. Nothing says I love you like a lump of carbon mined by wage slaves in Angola. I don't even know what I was mad at you about. Do you want a blowjob? Passion. It can be purchased, and it can be overpriced. Ice on, available Jen, and very price. expensive at Decock Diamonds. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's The Wild Traveler, next. Support for The Wild Traveler is brought to you by the Ultimate Disc in the Dark Association of America, who encourages you to get out and play hard. Intriguing. I'd like to meet her. On the conspiracy line, Paula, you're in Area 53. Do not use fluoride. It's evil. It made me kill my doctor. Why would you worry about a chemical that the government puts into the water? Animals can now be trained to fly, including several species of bird. Think about the military app. Somebody let the dog off the leash. Move it. The phone company, they have your name on the bill. They know your number. How do you feel about that? I knew it. Hello, Julie from Liberty Asshole. City. You're on the line. A cowboy goes to the front of my house. I wish you to take... This is dangerous work, especially topless. Take lots of photographs. All right, who's got a theory for me? Next. Start seeing the bigger picture. We're being lied to, man. And guys like you don't help much, you know? You're virtually one of them. Soon you know what I'm talking about. If people could please just attempt to make sense, that's all I'm asking. Last night, as I was living in my pod meditating, and it occurred to me, why are you even listening you to me? Want... Turn off all electrical devices, including your radio. Hector and Sam Garcia, why are you still listening? Oh, because well done. I hope you could explain these noises. What noises? God, that's you too. Now think about the things we talked about. You're trying to prove what seriously time? think. Can it be real? Can it be false? We'll see you next time in Area 53. Be careful out there, wherever you are. That was Area 53. We're sorry. Do you worry that nobody likes you? We'll provide you with friends. Kiflar. I'm the Honorable Chris Formage. Covet your neighbor's ass no longer. The Epsilon program seeks out the convenient bits from every faith to create a religion that is uniquely American. You think that's smart, huh? I'm in the piece! Oh. Show me what you got. Did you just drop this piece? Ah. Yeah, cool, thank you. Ooh. Get out of here, Open bitch. to you. Just call 1-866-FUN-CULT. Have you heard the number one? San Andreas? If not, here's what you're missing. Well, why don't you just on, go do buy your answer. vegetables? Island? The anti-beef movement. 
Both Hitler and Mussolini were vegetarian. And we take on the highly charged debate about test tube babies and actually talk to one. I have flashbacks and go into hysterics in science class. You know what it's like? Get out of here! I'm Peyton, that's my wife Mary, and this is I Say, You Say, where left is right, and right is wrong. Or where east meets west, and the west always wins. That wall came down, darling. Yes, unfortunately it did. I, I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, a case of share and share like? Love your fellow man and all wear matching jumpsuits while working on a collective hydroponic farm growing potatoes? Or kill or be killed, crush the weak, and starve the poor, as my wonderful wife thinks. You decide, or let us decide for you. Give us a call, and let my wife, a professor in social Darwinism, or me, a lecturer in freakless anthropology, work things out. That's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phones. Uh, yeah, hi. Here's the deal. I'm really funny, but nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I, I mean, how is that fair? I, I mean, I'm white, middle class, very erudite, um, you know, whatever that means. But the people just respond badly to me. I, I don't understand it. Are you related to my husband? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hope not. Have you got a question about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job, you strange, pathetic little sap. <laughs> Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name's Michelle. I'm a first-time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition to ban smoking. Well, this is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but democracy only works when you agree with it. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. I'm not sure about this one. I think smoking is an invasion of my body, and I've always wanted to shoot Come on, people. man, what's I'm your right problem? Maybe you in the way. Get away from my car. If you're listening, Are I you hope it's sick this it, time. Love. I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. But if you want shout-outs, call the rap station. That's offensive. And I'm really offended by what you're saying. I'm a smoker. This used to be a free country. When? Ha! <laughs> good point, Dolly. Gotcha. Yes, good point, but... Leave this place now! everyone to smoke. That way we weed out the weak, make a lot of money in tax, and keep our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on I Say, You Say. Ah, I listen every time to your show. It really made me think about the world a whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucks. Now I live in a compound surrounded by barbed wire and shoot and kill anyone I don't recognize all my land. Just want to say thank you. That's quality broadcasting. Yeah, thanks. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. Have you got a question? Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself with my bare hands. Can I get a tax break for all this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly That's hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your net worth offshore in a complex money laundering system designed to support the drugs trade. Then you can pay virtually no taxes and complain about how awful you think the whole country is, knowing you're doing as little as possible to help. Cool, thanks. That's good advice. I'm appalled at you, Mary Phillips. Ugh. Why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses, oh, and you're talking yes. about oh, money laundering. Shit. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation. Oh, God, give me strength. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous with your long hair and big... Thank <laughs> you.
Ridiculously ugly. Hey man, move your car. Get out of here, punk. Horse. <laughs> Allowed. This cut is just my style. No. <laughs> Can't you chase somebody else? You really very ugly. My hair? Thanks. Hey, I don't mean to be rude, but you repose. Ugly bitch. Play pro football, straight punk. Oh, for sure, it's tight. Good look. Hey, you ain't gangster, you bust. You ho. Hey, dudes over here. Fool. Oh! Ain't you got a bag you can put on your face? You lame, fool, lame. Ugh, you were both. Ain't you got a leash? This cut? Oh, thanks. Oh! Buster? Go crawl back under a rock. 